Despite the fact that I have been very critical of LeBron James throughout the course of this channel's history, and will continue to be, I gave him a little bit of a break with everything going on with Bronny James. Obviously a scary moment for any father, regardless of what I think about him as an athlete or as a person off the court. But I didn't talk about a very big story involving LeBron James last week, but now that there's an update, now that we've found out that the LeBron James Foundation makes up just as many bullshit excuses as LeBron James does, we have to talk about this story. The I Promise School, the one that LeBron went out there with all this fanfare, all this pomp and circumstance said, look at me, I'm going to help all these young black kids and we're going to get them into this awesome private school, all this bullshit. It has all turned out to be a complete and total lie. LeBron James I Promise School is nothing but a virtue signal because everybody that's there, all the kids that are going there, are worse off than any other kids in public school in Akron. Report, not one eighth grader at LeBron James I Promise School has passed the state math test in three years. This is the story that came out last week. Not a single eighth grader at the I Promise School uh, for LeBron in Akron, Ohio, a school founded by LeBron James, has passed their state math test in three years. And this was like, like five years ago or something. LeBron James went out there and everybody prayed Raised him. ESPN made a big deal about it. Oh my gosh, what incredible, what an incredible job by LeBron. Despite the fact that it's not like he's just personally funding the school, it's a partnership between the LeBron James Foundation and Akron Public Schools. And now it looks like the city of Akron's going to have to spend a bunch of money when LeBron James didn't want to to try to actually get these kids to pass fucking tests. LeBron James Foundation partially blames the pandemic for low test scores at I Promise School, says kids are more than a test score. You know, kids are more than a test score. I'll agree with that. But... Test scores are a way that we look at things and compare how they're doing in this area of the state to that area, this area of the city to that area. And right now, LeBron James School is completely failing. LeBron James School suffered some of the lowest scores in all of Akron schools and has not seen a single 8th grader pass the state's math standards during the entire period. In fact, since James School opened in 2008, his now 8th grade kids have proven to have the lowest performance of the Akron school system, period, despite the I Promise School's claims to create a new and improved way to teach kids. Victoria McGee, Senior Director for the LeBron James Family Foundation, said this, We believe our students are more than a test score. Yes, our students, they come to us and they're behind. We do our best. And we have some strategic things we're putting in place to help our students move along the way. So we're excited. They shouldn't be passing class. Like, how are they passing these grades? They can't even pass fucking math tests and they haven't for three years. Why are they advancing? Why aren't you fixing this? Why aren't you actually helping them? Instead of this just being a PR stunt for fake-ass LeBron James. The local news organization noted that none of the I Promise School's grade levels, not a single one of them, have more than a 1% proficiency in math. Whereas even the lowest rated of Akron City schools have achieved at least a 17.6%. This is nothing but a virtue signal. LeBron James didn't put in the time, effort, or energy into this thing. He doesn't give a fuck. He just wanted the accolades. He just wanted to talk, have people talk about what he's doing for these kids. How important it is for these disadvantaged youth. All this shit. This is pathetic. You can see all the test scores right here. Uh, I don't think they're... Oh, sorry. In third grade, they've got an 11.5 proficiency in math. In terms of 11.5 people were able to pass the state math test for that grade. Everything else, nothing even hits double digits. That's how bad it is. The school explained its deficits by saying the pandemic caused severe disruption to its plan. Yeah, everybody had to go through the pandemic. And guess what? Even with all that stuff, you're still lower than all the other Akron schools. There's something going on. Maybe it's a money laundering scheme. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on for LeBron James, but I know damn well that this is yet another failure to rack up on his list. But this one, he gets all the, he gets all the positives out of it. While these kids that he pretended that he was going to help, all of them are continuing to suffer. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.